Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today I've come to admonish you to develop your spirit's ability. I'm reading to you from the book of Hebrews in chapter 5 from verses 13 and 14. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. For he's a babe, but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So their being of full age wasn't a matter of accumulation of time on their age or spiritual age rather, but rather it's a function of how much they've exercised their spiritual senses in use and are therefore developed the capacity to engage it in matter of life. Because you need to know that being born again means a new man has been born in you. Even a man of the spirit and that man of the spirit is the one who determines your eternal and temporal destiny ultimately. You remember the man Nicodemus asked Jesus in John in chapter 3 Master, nobody can have this kind of result you're having uh, in life or put it better, nobody destiny can deliver this way except that God is with the person and Jesus said absolutely true and the way out of that is the way of being born again and Jesus explained being born of the spirit and he said that which is born of the spirit at that point is spirit. It's the man from above with which you can rise above all challenges. Like every newborn babe, this man from above residence inside of you as your regenerated spirit has inborn abilities. The abilities are in potential form just like every other ability. They are to be developed. One of such abilities is ability to see life aright. In the face of every challenge, seeing life with the perspective of God. Actually, if your high be single, your body be full of life, Jesus said, was referring to the high of the spirit and it has to be developed arriving on the scene of darkness and emptiness and formlessness like God there's a way you can look at it as God and bring about change and this is an ability of the spirit because God himself is a spirit being able to fix what you see to what does not appear it's the ability of the spirit to create a new vision a new sight out of what doesn't look like what you want. Glory to Jesus. The sight of the Spirit. A rescue from discouragement. A rescue from visionlessness. A rescue from distraction. A rescue from pit and hole on the path of destiny. Because let me tell you the truth. There will be discouragement on the path of destiny. There will be pit and hole on the path of destiny. There will be distractions on the path of destiny. And there will be time when vision are blood on the path of destiny. It is your spirit ability that has been developed. Capacity to see the way God is capacity to focus on God kind of things are what will help you to arrive on your desired heaven of destiny. Jesus said one of the reasons why he came is so that you may see, not so that you may be running to seers. You know, running to prophet and seers have become a virtue in church today, but it's, it's, it's not a virtue, it's a vice. Part of the problem of the old covenant was people's inability to see. And so when prophet derail, people derail. When prophet don't see, people don't see. And God said, I'm going to make a new covenant with the house of Israel. So Jesus said, I came so that those who do not see will be able to see. So Christ has come to give you the sight of the spirit in your spirit. And this sight is just like every other natural high. You don't see because you have high. You see because as you are growing up, your high is trained to accommodate light and to interpret vision and for you to see. So that's why somebody can have high and not see. So you have the sight of the spirit resident already inside of your spirit man. But you need to develop the ability. You already have your high of the spirit opened. When you get born again, your high of the spirit has been opened. You need to sit down and develop your sight capacity. It's a capacity, it's an ability. It's not a gift. You develop it. Developing it with light of life. You say your word is a lamp onto my feet and a light onto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. So that means sitting down with the word will help you to develop your sight capacity. You will start saying things the way God sees it. When there's a trouble, how does God see it? When death is av available, what would God see it? You see, Lazarus died. Thomas said, let's go and die with him. Jesus said, no, we don't need to go and die with him. We go and raise him up. That's the way you see life. But it's not luck. It's not even a gift as it were. It's a personality you develop over time. And everything it takes for you to be there is already resident in you. A new man ain't going to be born in you again. A new man has been born in you when you got born again. 
is left for you to develop the spirit ability and walk in the newness of life. I pray for you today that your life will not be a replica of failure and falling and going backward in the mighty name of Jesus. Where there has been the experience before, I pray that a new face will open for you right now. You will start seeing things the way God sees things. When you see voidness, you will feel it. When you see darkness, you will bring light out of it. When you see formlessness, you will bring shape into it. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever as going astray, going awire, going the wrong direction in your life, I pray right now the light of heaven will bring them back to shape. In Jesus' mighty name. I also pray for sickness in your body to depart. I rebuke the disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command healing now. I command healing in your chest. I command healing on your side. I command muscle to be healed now. I command sight to be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bless you.